your manuals the first our first experiment will be the uh, verification of stefan bormann the that is the intensity of radiation varies as fourth power fourth power of the temperature so uske liye hum jo use karenge this black surface or plate will be used for that aur isko aap yahan pe uh, attach karenge groove mein uh, make sure that this should be uh, very vertical here we note down the readings if you can see on instrument console uh, these initial readings are ambient on ambient temperature that is 34 degree centigrade this ambient ambient temperature will remain constant during the uh, further readings on the right side here is the radio emitter reading you please note down these uh, two readings on your manual and now i will change the value of the uh, heat source by increasing the uh, power through this knob Uh, you can see that uh, after some time temperature goes on increasing uh, after a minute or two i will show you the second readings uh, you can note these readings with yourself the temperature this this one is the temperature reading of the black body and the other one is the radiometer reading 44 that is 44 reading of the temperature is in degree centigrade let increase the temperature you can see here that the as we increase the power source uh, supply value of power supply uh, temperature of the black plate goes on increasing and also the value of radiometer also increases by time uh, you can note down these two readings after every 5 to 10 second uh, you can note down these uh, readings uh, uh, at the table provided to you in instructor manual that is the first table for table 4.2 where you need to note down these readings this is that black plate which is placed in front of the heater at a distance of uh, 50 mm the radiometer is placed at a distance of uh, 150 mm from the uh, from this black plate not from this black plate but from heat source it is at a distance of 150 mm and from this black plate it is at a distance of 100 mm this is the radiometer This radiometer is connected to the instrument console this controller and here we can get the reading of this radiometer the temperature goes on increasing along with increase in value of the radiometer uh you note down these values with your uh, notebook it will be preferable that you use your uh, table provided to you in instructor manual i think these readings are sufficient for the, the first part that is stefan boltman's law uh, compute these values uh, for these temperatures ambient for ambient temperature uh, that was 34 degree centigrade and that will remain constant while the other temperature you can see in this video that increases from uh, time to time so no, note down these uh, values with yourself on a table and this is the last value 130 and 175 uh, 176 here look at the computed table Uh, this is just for uh, 
example not this is the real not a real experimental table you have to compute your table yourself uh, because the readings are provided to you uh, in the video here is we have here we have the source temperature the ambient temperature uh, we have 34 degrees centigrade not 21 degrees centigrade radiometer readings are also shown in the video uh, and uh, con convert these two temperatures into kelvins and co apply the boltzmann stefan boltzmann's law here uh, qb is equal to sigma ts raised to the power of 4 minus ta raised to the power of 4 the TS is the stiffen uh, surface temperature and TA is the ambient temperature which is 34 degree centigrade. Sigma is the stiffen Boltzmann constant. Uh, in the next uh, column you can see alpha. What is alpha? Alpha is the ratio of heat emitted by the uh, heat source to the radiation uh, to, to the radiometer readings. Alpha is the ratio of the heat emitted by the heat source to the radiometer reading. Uh, this was the first part of our experiment that is uh, Stefan Boltzmann's law. Now we will move forward to the next part of the experiment that is emissivity experiment.